Question 1. We are to determine the range of a data set which is defined to be the largest data value minus the smallest data value. In this set of data, the largest value is 20, while the smallest is 5, so that we get a range of 15. In question 3, we also compute the range, but this time the data set has decimals in which the largest value is 6.2, while the smallest data value is 1.6. we get a range of 4.6. Question 5 requir requires us to compute the variance for a given data set and then we're going to round our answer to one more decimal place in the original data. The original data has values that are whole numbers, meaning we're going to round our answers to the nearest tenths here in question five. Now the variance formula for a list of data, I'm going to use the shortcut formula. This formula is easy to use but looks complicated. n is a sample size, sum of the x is sum of the data values, sum of x squared is square the data values and add them. Plugging the appropriate values into this formula is going to give us the variance. Let's enter the values. I'm going to label this column x and the next column x with a caret to the second power being x squared. So now if I enter my data 159, 135, 437, 608, 134 and 379. This is my data set. Now I need to sum these data values so I can use this value of 1852 in my variance formula. I'm going to now square every data value. Using the autofill key for a function, I can generate the squares of all the data values here. Since the formula requires that I have the sum of the squares, I have obtained the values here. So let's try to remember these values. 1,852, 765,736. So let's write this. 1,852, sum x. 1,852. That's going up here. Now 
the sum x squared is 765,736. That value is up here. Let's look at the sample size. How many data values were here? One, two, three, four, five, six data values. So a six, a six, and a six. Let's see what the calculator says. This calculator knows order of operation, so six times 765,736 minus 1,852. Close my parentheses. Don't forget, I have to square that value. Now close the parentheses. Divided by 6 times 5. However, let's put this denominator in parentheses here to communicate to the calculator that we want to divide by the product of 6 times 5. This is what you'd enter in a TI calculator and probably most calculators that work in this manner. Hit enter. Now the variance is 38,817.0667. If I round this number to the nearest tenths, then that's going to be 0.1. This is my variance. Keep in mind, the 6 is n, the 765,736 is sum x squared, 1,852 is the sum of the x values, 6 is n, 6 is n, but this is n minus 1, in parentheses that'll be a 5. Question 7. Question 7 requires us to compute the standard deviation. Now, using the same variance formula, the shortcut version, the relationship again between the standard deviation and the variance is that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So let's use again Excel here to enter some values. I'm going to enter my data into the squared data column. So question 7, the first value is 13.5. The next value is 15 3.3, 34.6, 38.2, 15.1, 12.4. I'm going to need totals. The sum of the x values I have just determined 129.1. Now I'm going to square every data value using the autofill function. I obtain the rest of the values. I now sum these values 
and I have the sum x squared values. Let's note this information in our, uh, for our calculation here. Sum x is 129.1. while sum x squared is 3,454.51. Let's count the number of data. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again in this problem there are six data values. Let's see what we get. Six times thirty four thousand three thousand four hundred and fifty four point five one minus 129.1 squared close the parentheses divided by the product product again of 6 times 5 what I get here is the variance now if I take the square root of this variance, I get 11.6336437474. Now I'm supposed to round this answer to one decimal place to the right of the data that's given. The data that's given are values of, that are approximated to the nearest tenths so that my answer should be an answer that's approximated to one decimal place to the right of that which would make it the hundredths. So approximating this number to the hundredths we see this first three is in the hundredths position the digit to the right means simply do not add one to three the answer is eleven point six three this is our standard deviation finally question nine we're supposed to determine the standard deviation for group data now the variance since this is group data is sum, excuse me, the variance formula for group data and sum fm squared minus sum fm quantity squared over n times n minus 1 since we have group data we're going to need to use this variance formula and our standard deviation again is the square root of the variance we're going to use Excel here to determine the values so I have my bins the employees, this is my frequency. I need the midpoints, and then I need the frequency times the midpoints, and then finally I need frequency times the midpoints times the midpoints once again, which is the midpoint squared. Now I need midpoints here for 5001 and 10,000. So five thousand one 
plus 10,000. Now divide by 2. 7,500.5. Notice that the bin width is 5,000. So if I keep adding 5,000 here, 12,000. 500.5 will be the next midpoint. 17,500.5, the third. Twenty two thousand five hundred point five, the fourth. 27,500.5, the last midpoint. Double check. <coughs> now, the frequency times the midpoint values using autofill and finally Next, the frequency times the midpoint squared values. Well, this value here times this value here is the frequency times midpoint square values. Using autofill, this is what we get. Now, we're going to need to add the sum of the frequencies. the sum of the frequency times the midpoint values, sum of the frequency times the midpoint square values. Let's shrink our view here so we can actually view everything at once if possible. Let's see this information. This is the information that we'll be using. Once again, n, here is 80 times this huge value, 3, 2, 7, 5. One, five, one, two, three, two, zero, minus one, five, zero, 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 forty, raised to the second power, close the parentheses, divided by the product of eighty times 79. This answers the variance. We need to take the square root of the variance because we're determining the standard deviation. 7,651 dollars and 42 cents is the standard deviation. 7,651,042 since this is money we're going to round this to the nearest cent meaning the nearest hundredths position so that's going to be the two in the hundredths position the digit to the right is a four which leaves our final answer as seven thousand six hundred and fifty one dollars and forty two cents seven six five one point four two
standard deviation.